Y'all, today I'm going to do something I've never done before in my life, but I have wanted to for probably years. I've been a little bit afraid, y'all. I've been a little afraid. If you haven't already figured out, we're going to do birria tacos. Did old Southern boy do that right? I don't know. But I leaned on my old buddy Guga from Guga Foods. Guga, just know I love you, brother. You know, if you ever need me down in Miami, just let me know. Holla at your boy. So today we're going to do birria tacos, um, kind of Guga style, but kind of old hussy style too, right? So. Y'all, this is gonna be an amazing, oh. epic. Um, I'm here. Oh. I'm here. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, um, <laughs> I got somebody helping me. Steven Schmidt from Cooking with the Schmidt kindly came over to Hussey's house. I'm at Hussey's house. He's at Hussey's house. I'm cooking with Hussey. The old boy, he's dragging around a trailer, going door to door, saying, hey, can I come cook with you? <laughs> and I said, come on in, buddy. You know, <laughs> it's just like the old good Lord. He says, you're always welcome at the table. So this is Hussey's house. So Schmidt, it's good to see you. Yeah, good definitely. To have you here. Thank you. Thank you good for having me. Good to have me. you here. This, is, this has been a blast so far, and I can't wait to taste these tacos. We're going to make some good groceries. Yes. Good it's gonna be, groceries. It's going to be some dang good groceries. Phenomenal groceries. Phenomenal oh, groceries. That's it, bro. I love it. I, I like it, it too, bud. We're going to get the bitter of tacos um, done. Less one garlic clove. Uh, <laughs> Lost money. It's all right. Um, I'm going to be getting some tomatoes going. I got about two pounds of tomatoes, all right? And all I'm doing here is I just want to get some surface area on this, okay, guys? So I'm just quartering those tomatoes. I got about eight tomatoes. Uh, maybe a little bit more and like I said just do a little quarter okay our old buddy Schmidt over here what he's doing yeah. he's getting a nice paste going uh, on our on our 20 cloves of garlic 20 ish okay there's 20 I counted them. is there 20 yeah okay all right I believe it's 20 I put in 20 I believe you I follow direction so there is our meters now I'm gonna do a little onion you know onion right uh-huh yeah. onion Mike knows onion. He loves onion. Mm -hmm. Mr. Onion, we're just going to do one onion, one white onion, and it's kind of the same thing we're going to do with our onions as well. Uh, just kind of coarse chop. The idea here is to have surface area, and we're going to do that on a black stone, like I said. Um, you get the surface area, it gets a nice char. Mm -hmm. It's char's flavor, right? For sure. For sure. Now, Let's talk about our chilies, y'all. So we got five Wahio chilies. We got five Aborlo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And we got five Ancho chilies, five Ancho chilies. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these on the griddle also, and we're gonna toast them up. So Schmidt's working on this. I'm gonna work on this birria marinade right quick on the Blackstone, let's go. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of this ginger paste. Just gonna put a little bit of that in there. All right, so we're gonna get this marinade down, okay? First, we're gonna get started with our tomatoes. And you actually notice I'm going dry here, okay? Because I'm looking for contact patch. Now, I'm gonna put our onions down. Over here, we want Kind of the same principle, we want a dry griddle. Don't want no oil. See that char right there? That's what you want. Smell those chilies? Man, it's beautiful. I cannot wait to try these. It's gonna be a labor of love, brother. Labor of love. I think these are good, bud. Yeah, they, they look delicious. Yeah. Nice and toasted. Yeah, nice and toasted. Got a little char. The onions. Got a little char on them. This is this, this right here, they call it that goody good. Mm -hmm. They call it goody good. Yeah. Hmm, well, I smell that ginger. You right, smell something right here. Yeah, this is gonna smell it. Right and you don't really wanna cook it long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just want to kind of warm it through, just make it all good and stuff. What do you think about that, Schmitty? I think it looks great. I mean, you want to make, put that in the blender and chop it up, and it's going to be. We're going to add this to the blender. So we're just going to come here, put those all in there. 
I love the way uh, we got all that garlic, but one thing that I smell a lot is that ginger. That's crazy. Yeah. All the chilies. Get in the bath. Let's go over to the cutting board. We got all of our ingredients. We got our peppers, we got our onions, uh, we got our tomatoes, got our garlic paste, got her with the ginger and stuff. Yeah. Now, now we gotta like make stuff happen, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the other ingredients, all right? So to this cinnamon stick, yep. He said about a liter of water. I'm not gonna be able to do that. A liter of cola? Do uh, about a quarter cup of that apple cider vinegar, just kind of pour. And we'll, yeah. Da, 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 da. Come on, Give about that same size, yeah. Apple cider vinegar is good for you, right? Don't they say that? I, I hear that. Yeah. I hear it gives you good breath. Good breath, okay. So. Maybe, I mean, are we planning on? No, no, no okay, no, none of that, okay. I love you, but. <laughs> We're gonna do some, uh, as my mama would say, oregano. Oregano. Oregano, just a little bit of that, okay? This right here is the best thing since sliced bread. I talk about this all the time. Can you pronounce that? This is just tomato, uh, uh, tomato bouillon. Is that what that's? Tomato bouillon. So I add tomato bouillon, and I add chicken powder, beef powder on everything. Yeah, this is the Nor beef powder that I always talk about. This is tomato powder. Add that to my rice, but then we also got tomato. Be careful here, y'all. Be careful. The reason why it's got a lot of sodium. You also need to add salt, so you don't want to over salt it. But you got a bunch of protein, so. It can take it, all right? You can always adjust later, all right? We're gonna do some black pepper. I can get the smell of that coming off. It's, it's beautiful, man. Amazing. Chipotle, we'll add some cumin. A good teaspoon. Good teaspoon. We're gonna add maybe about. There you go, sir. We're gonna add, I don't know, we're gonna add maybe like one of these Chipotles. And we want a good amount of that adobo sauce because, man, that stuff is nice. Maybe two. All right. All right. Oh, this is gonna be good. This All right. Be good. Let's blend this up. Oh, no way. All right. And oh boy, we got we got leakage. Oh man, what the world? This thing's cracked right there. Let's try this, y'all. Woo! Getting down with the get down. There we go. Now. It's a smoothie. It's a, it's a bitteria smoothie. I was just kidding. <laughs> Man, oh, yeah. look at that. That's just nothing but goodness, y'all. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. All right. We're just going to dump this into our pressure cooker. Let's talk about our meat. What kind of meat we're going to have. We got uh, chuck roast, chuck about a two pound chuck roast. And we got some, just some short ribs, some beef short ribs. It's got a lot of nice uh, marbling, got a nice little, you know, and the bone, bone helps create some, right. some flavor bone too. Marrow. Yep. Yep. The bone, anything on a bone is always just a little bit better. They also recommend like oxtails also, but uh, they didn't have any oxtails. So. Venison? Yeah, so I was talking to my buddy over at uh, the Mexican restaurant where we go. He said they make birria with deer meat, venison. He does it with the neck, the neck roast, and the, the, the ribs, ribs, all that flat ribs, meat. Yeah. And uh, he said that's what they like doing. I didn't think about that. Venison and goat. Goat is typical what they make it with in Mexico. Uh, deer and goat are very, very close. So there you have it. That's a little educational piece for today. I'm learning. Let me oh, see here. <laughs> Let's try to learn with you guys. Let's try to learn with you guys. All right, let's get this bad boy going. Yeah, so we're gonna add a little bit more water and we're gonna stir this up. And then, y'all, we're just gonna, just gonna take your, your meat, just gonna throw it right in. And then we're gonna cook it for, I don't know, maybe in, we're gonna, we're gonna go an hour we're gonna see where it's at in an hour. And then I wanna, I don't know if I'll, yeah. there we go. Just like that. It's the pot. We're gonna go about, we're gonna go for an hour on high pressure and then we're gonna release it 
we'll look at it. If it needs a little bit more time, we want to make sure it shreds. Shred. But they recommend a chopping it. A couple cleavers, chop it up really fine, and then that way, not, not a shred, but really like a mince. Oh. So that's what Guga, that's what he recommends. All right. A little chilly. I put a jacket on. Yeah, maybe this right here will warm us up. Got the black on. I've got it pre warm. We're going to make a salsa for our birria tacos. Salsa is going to be made up of tomatillos. I got uh, three. Tomatillos. Six. Tomato family. Yeah, I think it is. I think so. Sounds like it. Is. Yeah. I got 10 tomatillos. I think I need 10. Um, so I'm going to cut these up and we're going to put these on the black stone. All right, so got one. Kind of see how that is? See oh, how those yeah. seeds are? Oh yeah. It's kind of like a, it's kind of sticky. Almost like a, like a piece of okra. Yeah, oh, okra's kind of yeah. sticky. Yeah. So oh, I love okra. I love okra too. So we're just gonna slice these up. All right. All 10. All right. Oh, let me put these over here. These are some serrano peppers. I missed two. I'll be tall gone. That's why I got, that's why I brought him here. <laughs> Keep me in line. I'll be doggone. There we there go. We go. <laughs> and I'm just gonna split those. That one's kind of hard, but anyhow, there we go. And because I don't want a lot of heat in this, I want it to be, I want it to be good. I'm just gonna come and scrape some of this stuff out. Put a little oil down. I want to get that cut side down. Just like that. Put our serranos in there also. Just let those just kind of toast up. You see that? Oh yeah. That's what you want. That's brown and blue That's what you want right there, y'all. I got an onion right here. I'm gonna do an onion too. And we're gonna come in here. An onion. And I didn't really clean from the tomatoes that we had on there, right? I, you know. Some of that, that residue. Residue, residue yeah, yeah, fond. Yeah. All right, so we flip those tomatillos over. We want to get that skin blistered up a little bit too. All right. Gonna be some good old groceries right there, buddy. We are one hour, a little over, well, 22 minutes. So our, our, our meat, the timer's off. I hope it's okay. I'm just gonna let this kind of manually release. And that gives it enough time too to keep, to keep kind of processing, so. This is what else we're gonna do. We're gonna take our limes. We wanna put those it down as well. To get like a char on the lime. Get a char on them, plus it heats them up and they squeeze and they release a lot better. Okay, okay. Yeah. We need char. This is optional. If you wanna do it, do it. If you don't have this, no big deal, it's fine. We'll put a few garlic cloves in there, let them get warmed up. Should've did that to begin with. So FYI, y'all, pussy messes up. There we go. You just kinda want it to get, you know, incorporated. So we got our handy dandy mixing thing here. And, cause Schmidt broke my other thing. Oh yeah, blame it on me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the missus. Oh no, <laughs> it's oh you. no. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta have you a fall guy. On, get a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> Take our Lime. our limes that we have toasted up on the blackstone. Watch how. Oh. And it's kind of it's got this like nuttiness. It's got the char, you know, from the from the top. It's a little hot. Um, if I had a pair of tongs, that's also a good way to uh, yeah. squeeze them. Yeah. Cilantro, nice little heavy dose of cilantro. You like cilantro? I love cilantro. Okay, I was just making sure. Some people actually don't like cilantro. Some people don't. They're That's like, it? ooh. Yeah. It's like, no. Avocado. And we're going to do avocado. A little kosher salt. Nice little heavy pinch. Pepper. A little pepper. Man alive. Mm. It needs that's salt, but it's good. Phenomenal. That's gonna go on our tacos. I like to say phenomenal. Phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal. We're gonna set this off to the side and next, we're gonna see how our beef looks. And then we're gonna be about ready. 
These are done, and we've made a salsa for our birria tacos. Oh, that salsa is so good. How long has this taken us to take? It's taken us a long time. <laughs> I think we need to drink a little bit. We need, we need to have a little, little cheer wine. And uh, this is Schmidt's cheer wine. Wink. Cheers. I have, this is gone for an hour, and it's, we're at 55 minutes. We've naturally released this. So at a, about two hours total, okay? Elijah, cue the music. Dang it, boy, smell of that. Smell that cinnamon. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> oh mercy. She's gonna fall apart though. Yeah. She's gonna fall apart. Look at that. Boy. Look at that, y'all. That's gonna be awesome. We got those bones in there. Yep. Because we wanna strain this. Because of the sauce. Yeah. We wanna try to get some of that. Uh, you know, the fibrous stuff that we put in there. Mm -hmm. We wanted it for the flavor, not so much for our consomme. What do you get from that? Um, Anything? What I get from when I yeah. smell it, mm -hmm. um, like a lot of salivation. Salivation. I, I, do you pick up on cinnamon? Do you smell that? I, it's just that hint, a little bit of hint. It, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of a hint of, of, of that cinnamon. I, it's really just, in the, and it's kind of warm. I, I, I don't know, it's warm. Look at those bones. Huh? There we go. Now we want to strain this off. And because this is what we're going to dip our birria in. I think I'm doing a pretty good job pronouncing that. I think you're doing pretty good. For a country boy. Yeah. Yeah. See there? Yeah. I don't want nobody in the comments saying, oh, you chopped it up, hussy. <laughs> Schmidt said I'm okay. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Somebody's going to say it though, Schmidt. Well, they can pay attention to the video and know that it's good. All right. Now, I'm going to let this sit over here for a little bit to try and chill. Well, let some of that fat right. kind of bring up to come up to the top. Yeah. Then you scoop it out. Yeah. And then. Wow. Now. <laughs> Nut. We're going to give this meat we're gonna chop it all right this is some of our short ribs we've all the bones they come off they already fell off the bone fell off the bone and that's what you want you want this and you know you, you want to shred you know you want a meat that's shreddable but then you also you want it kind of minced really so we're gonna put all this on a chopping box We'll take our cleavers. Just a couple cleavers. You don't have to do. You don't have to do the cleavers. You can do it with your knife. But just want to. Just kind of how we do. Uh, this is how we do barbecue here in North Carolina. We chop it by hand. Oh. Yep. So just come in here. You kind of use this one. It's like a guide, really. Come in here. And just... There we go. Perfect meat, perfect birria. Oh man, look at that. It just comes off like that. Mm-hmm. That's, That's good, good. Huh? Try them. Yeah. That's real good. Mm. I'll come in here with a little bit of this juice that we had. Oh, look at you. There's our Ooh. consomme. And we're waiting for it to cool. Hopefully it's still kind of warm. And then that way we can kind of skim off this top. We might have to just uh, skim it off just as we are right now. Next up, we finally make birria tacos. So, yep. And then we grub down. You, you do tacos. want to stay tuned. We're gonna get the cheese ready now. We've got three different kinds of cheeses. The main one, Oaxaca. You gotta say Oaxaca. Wah. Oaxaca. <clears throat> Oaxaca. Like, you're, like you're hawking up a luga, you know what I'm saying? Oaxaca. Yep, yeah. Oaxaca. Oaxaca cheese, queso quesadilla, and some Monterey Jack. Could you kindly yes, sir. Uh, take this grater yep. and grate it, just kind of put them in piles so we know the difference. So this Oaxaca cheese is very, very good stuff. It melts super, super good. It's really good. It's kind of like mozzarella. If you don't find this, you typically can. It's in your refrigerator section of your supermarket. Uh, you can actually use mozzarella 
and it's okay. Very good. Now, while Schmidt is doing that, I am going to try my best to skim this fat um, off of this. You can kind of see that's that, look at that gold right there. That's, that's liquid gold. That is liquid gold. Yeah. Ideally. Pour that over some nachos. Yeah, I would really like to have this, um, I'd really like to have this set and it uh, kind of congeal, but we just, me and Schmidt don't have the time today. I tell you what, anybody out there looking for a shredder, a professional shredder, I have found your man. Hook me up, it's a finder's key, finder's fee. Here's your boy. Let's do it. I, I feel like you're not in the shot now, you know? I'm just uh, like. Oh, oh, I know what you gotta do. Uh, get on my, you wanna get on my shoulders? Right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, now I feel like I'm like. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, it is time to finally make some tacos. Yes. So we're going to do corn and we're going to do flour. Okay. I heard that some do corn, some do flour. It's okay to do It's, it's both. okay to do both, yeah. It's okay. So. Because I actually am a flour fan. Come at me. Yes. Flour here too. I'll tell you what, I got so much crap everywhere from this dang cook, I don't know what's what, so. This has been a monster cook. So I'm gonna put, we're gonna do five. We'll put three here, four, and five. <laughs> we're gonna take some of our meat here, y'all. We'll take some of our meat. And we're just gonna come in here. And we're not gonna be real stingy with it either, okay? Feel free to load this up with however much you want. I have the professional shredder, cheese shredder. The man, he's a shredder of excellence. So I'm gonna come in here with some Oaxaca first. We got all three, remember? Mm -hmm. We're not done. Y'all don't go anywhere. Uh -uh. Here's this queso oh, God. cheese. Oh, God. Okay. This is really good cheese just by itself, ain't it? Yeah, oh, delicious. Now comes the fun part. Now we're just gonna take, move these over. Just like this. But we're not done. We're not done. We're, this is just one formality. Oh, I had that on high. No wonder why those suckers oh. were getting hot. Cut it off. Turn it cut off. it off. We were just talking about that. Yeah. You got to cut these things off sometimes. They get hot. Or you just had a we'll brain move fart. It around. All right. Two. I'll put that over here, actually, because that one was on high. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now. Uh, uh. Man alive. These things, you know who's going to love this? Me? Lip. Oh. Lip loves some birria. He do, he do. Oh. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry. It was just old, old belly pat, bud. It's just, I'm just getting excited. All right there, my man is hungry. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Look at the flour compared to the corn. Much better. Good groceries. The smell, the smell is what, look at that. Yeah. That's, that's what you want. That looks so delicious. Oh, he getting fancy with it. No, he just flipped all five. That's the man right there. Holla. I think these flowers are done. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I'm still gonna eat the corn. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. All right. Our corn is oh, done as well. Corn looks, the corn looks good too. Corn looks good. Corn looks good. Corn looks good. Um, it took a little bit longer than the flour, but that's okay. We're just gonna come in here. This is our consomme. This is our soup. All right. This is our soup. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some little white chopped onions. Some people will also put the cilantro and stuff uh, in there. Um, I don't really like the cooked cilantro. I, I kind of like it, it, you know, it's that fragrance. Right, that's yeah. what I, That's what I dig. So, the flour is right here, and you are my guest. So you get number uno. Really? You get number uno. And then we're gonna dip it. Okay. Go ahead and dip yours. Dip it? Yeah, dip it and get all that goodness in. Dip it? Yep. We're just gonna come in here. I'm not gonna try to salsa yet. I just wanna okay. try this. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna give us a try. Yeah. Cheers, my brother. Cheers. Holy cow. Mmm. Dang. It's a little cold out here, so our cheese is kind of not. But there's a good amount of cheese. Look at that cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna come around here so I don't double dip. Flip him. Man, I got another bowl over there. After this, we're gonna throw down these things. Oh my goodness. Mm. Those things work, man. They slap. The flavor is is amazing. That that soup, consomme. So good. But the meat is so good. Tortilla's crunchy. Mm -hmm. The cheese is melty, creamy. The flavor is amazing. God, highly, highly suggest this. A little bit of labor of love, but well worth it. Yes, good things come to those who wait. Well, well worth it, y'all. Pleasure having you on the set today. I appreciate you having me. Thank you, appreciate sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. This has been fun. I've, I've had a blast, guys. Hussy, he's the man. Hey, y'all, I appreciate you uh, hanging out with us today. It's been a really, really fun time. Head over to Steven's page, Cooking with the Schmidt. Give him a follow. He's doing some pretty, pretty awesome things. Dude is actually going around our great nation in his camper and cooking. Cooking. cooking and hanging out with folks like me. Yeah. That's pretty awesome that I was uh, one of his little dots on the map. So I'm, I'm, I'm honored. So I appreciate it. Well, thank it. you. And yep. I appreciate you having me. Thank you for having me over and teaching me some stuff and cooking some good groceries. <laughs> what is this? Some good groceries, I tell you. Hey, I love you. appreciate you. And hey, there's going to be a video right here. Be sure to check it out as well. It'll be sure to up your griddle game. Bye now.